Help support our coverage with a free account on Privacy, the service that keeps you protected when shopping online. Get $5 to try it now by using promo code QZZ2J. And with Blueberry, the community that gives creators the power to make money, get detailed audience measurements, and host their audio and video. Get a 30-day free trial by using promo code BLUEBERRY004. I wonder, you're going to have to help me with your last name. Amrit? It's Amrit Bandy. Okay. The last name is Bandy. It rhymes with candy. Oh, outstanding. It's really long. I was like, whoa, I'm going to destroy that. And you're from... A wearables. A wearables. It's yeah. a wear wearables. Yeah, awesome. So obviously we've got a little, uh, you know, a little bed here. <laughs> so I'm assuming, and based upon the literature you put on this, you're helping us sleep. Yes, and we are the sleep improvement company that's actually going to tell you how to get better. We are built with the needs, the lives, and the psyche of people with insomnia or poor, broken sleep in mind, and. We have an app that actually tells you how to get better, which, which is what is missing in the industry. A lot of monitors, not enough, a lot people, of monitors. not enough people telling you how to get better. So the app actually delivers adaptive, personalized recommendations to you uh -huh. via cognitive behavioral therapy sure. for insomnia so that you can have weekly programs with daily guidance that holds your hand to get better. So, you know, I've been lucky throughout my life. I've only had a couple of... Uh, episodes of insomnia last two or three days but some people really have chronic insomnia yes. and they really suffer a lot uh, some people to the point where it's really their health is affected so in obviously you've got the wearable technology where you're doing the monitoring and you're making the suggestions what is it what have you found in your testing so far in using this product having people use this product that have had insomnia Yes, yeah, so uh, what we find out is that both, first of all, there's an information problem. People don't know how to get better. One of the problems is that there are less than 500 therapists in America out of the 100,000 who are actually trained in sleep. So the medical system is geared for sleep apnea right. and sends home these insomniacs with a sleeping pill way too early yep. and for too long. So we found out that we get uh, all the insomniacs who are jumping on to try the system, said that I've tried everything and nothing works, and I don't know if I'm improving. So if one, you need to tell me how to get better. Right. Personalized, not, not medication. Yeah. And we see that if they use the system for around two to four weeks, they start, they start off at usually four to five hours a night, while they lie in bed for eight hours, and the other three hours, it's usually 3 a.m. I call them the 3 a.m. club. They wake up suddenly at 3 a.m. and they have stress. And they think about all the negative oh my things God, in their I, lives. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna be able to get up in the morning, I'm gonna be tired, all yes, that stuff, right? Yes, and that is what actually perpetuates this bad relationship between you and the bed. So you and I could look at the bed as this wonderful place we sleep, yep. and insomnia is like, this is where I stress out. That's my enemy, right? That's my enemy. So we step them through these programs week by week and hold their hand. We, the daily guidance is very low burden, just a few minutes, because you don't have all the time in the world right. to analyze that. And this is going to be released as a standalone app early uh, this year. Okay. You know, one thing I found, too, is, you know, that old saying, count sheep. Mm -hmm. You know, and there is a little bit of truth to that, because when I've suffered some insomnia, then I will try to do something, some sort of counting exercise, Absolutely. something that basically, and what I have found is that it may take me a few cycles. Mm -hmm. You know, I may, I may have to go through a hundred count a couple of times, but usually that's almost enough to, to get me through that stress moment. So is this a type of, what, what type of activities are you having people do that are, what is the app suggesting, or what, what's the... What, uh, the one that is uh, the therapy with which we get the best improvement is actually called time in bed restriction, or sleep restriction, which acknowledges that insomniacs sometimes spend too much time in bed right. trying to will it to happen. Oh, I see. So, let's say you came to, uh, told the app, and we saw that through the device or your inputs, that you're sleeping five out of the eight hours that you're in bed. Yeah. It would actually, as we see over here, would say... Stay awake till 2 a.m. Oh. Every day for a week, and it won't be easy. Right. And wake up on an alarm at 7 a.m. Yeah. The app's job is to tell you then with minimal feedback that, hey, the first night might be horrible. 
Right. You might feel sleepy at 11. Yep. Stay awake till 2 and then you're going to hate me because at 2 you won't feel sleepy anymore. Right, right, right. But the app tells you this is what it's going to feel like. Like a quit smoking guy tells yep, you, yep. hey, the pangs last for five minutes, yep. no more. Yeah. So this will, you do that for a week and then by the third night you find out you're sleeping most of those five hours and then we add 15 minutes or 30 minutes to it the next week and you increase your, consolidate your sleep with your sleep drive yep. and then you push up now to around push seven up, hours. Push up. You know, I, and I went for many, many years where I operated on four and five hours sleep on purpose. Yeah. And it's not healthy. And it's really, it's really not. And any of you doing out there, I'm just going to tell you it's not. But I did. And, and I always said sleep is for the weak mm -hmm. because I operated very effectively on four or five hours sleep. But then I found out that I suffered from sleep apnea. So not only did I have getting four or five hours of sleep, I was also hurting it. Hurting so, myself. Yeah. So I really hurt myself, yeah. you know, in a big way. So um, the sleep apnea obviously changed my life and being on a CPAP machine and then a lot of people have that, but this is a completely different situation. Yes. And it's not the same. And I have found too that if I'm in a situation where I'm, because I travel a lot and the time zone changes and I'm maybe usually the second day I'm having a little bit of trouble sleeping, oftentimes I just say, forget it. I just get up. Yeah. I get up and I work for an hour or two and then, or do something, watch TV or whatever, and then try to go back to sleep. Um, so I'm sure that this, these techniques, something it has to change to get people back on track. And uh, hopefully this is, uh, this is going to be successful for yes. you. These therapies do do that. So a couple of things that you mentioned. The one where you leave the bed, that's actually a very good thing to not build a negative relationship yeah. of stress. The a guideline is actually go somewhere else, do something boring like an audio book or right. magazine, yep. and come back when you're droopy. It's called stimulus control. Yep. And the part that you mentioned about actually uh, we need to change our mentality around sleep, that it's very important because we're seeing effects of it in the long term. It's like a $63 billion burden on yep. the industry yep. for both healthcare and lost productivity. That's right. And it was cool that the DOD now says that, hey, we used to wear it as a badge of honor. That That's we're, right. We're SEALs. We don't need to sleep. I was DOD. So yeah. we don't need sleep. You're yeah. weak if you sleep. But it, now it, sleep is part of their triad, right. nutrition, activity, and sleep. As you said, you have uh, you've uh, faced apnea. What we did is that the apnea patients are at least catered for in the market. It's not a great right. system, but it's still there. Yeah. Insomnia is not. Yep. So we built our device to actually, and our app to take care of them. Our device will actually measure whether you get deep sleep or not. Do you get it in the first half of the night the way you should? Does REM increase the way it should? Right. Which posture do you fall asleep in faster? Yep. And with people who have apnea, once you have that machine, if you have residual insomnia because of your trauma with the bed, then we can help you with that. You know, and I think too is, and maybe you correct me if I'm wrong, but a good sign that you're not sleeping correctly and maybe have an issue with sleep apnea if you don't ever dream, that's kind of a warning sign because you're not, and at least I think it is because you're not getting deep enough. You're either waking up, coming up too high, and you're not getting in that REM, that REM sleep. So, yeah, so you get very fragmented sleep. Yeah. And if you don't get the yellow deep sleep in our visualization, you feel tired all the time. Right. Even if you get eight hours of sleep. And that is a big sign for actually not getting apnea patients often don't get the deep sleep. Right. Because your breathing never Cause, calms cause, down. Yeah, because you're, you're waking back up and you're yeah. kicking yourself to get around. But you're the, starting all over again. Yeah. yeah. So, but it, we're talking two different things. So let's just yep. be clear yeah. of that here, everyone. So, but, um, but if you're suffering from sleep apnea... Sleep, sleep insomnia, mm -hmm. um, when do we expect a wearables to be out? When is, you say the app's going to be out? In the first half of uh, 2020. First half of 2020. As a standalone app, and the okay. device will be added on towards Christmas. Outstanding. What do you think the price point's going to be? Two hundred. Uh, the app will be a subscription-based, okay. nineteen ninety nine per month. Okay. But we expect you to have to use it for two to four months, and then you've learned what you need to. Right. We'll cap it at 100 so that you're, you're not somebody who's paying like right. Netflix forever. Yeah. And the device will be added on at two forty nine. Okay. And we're also working with therapists who are not trained in sleep to actually be able to use it to treat their insomnia patients. So that we can actually have this referral based thing that works from all sides. Very, very cool. I want to thank you for Amit, uh, Amrit for coming on and talking to us about uh, wearables. And again, uh, keep an eye out for them. When you guys get ready to go to market, let us know. We absolutely and will. And then we can uh, basically tell the audience that this is available on market, available for them. Will do. All right. Thank you, sir. It's thank been an excellent experience. And thanks for sharing your yeah, story, too. Absolutely. Thank you for coming on.